eDrawings module. Um, just to run through a few of the options, you might have been playing with the play command here or maybe the next to the previous and I'll just run through that quickly. So if you hit play, you know, you get to various views as it rotates around. You can hit stop. You can go to next and it will stop for you. You can go to previous and that will stop at increments on each click. Then what you can do is, you might have been playing with this as well, you can hit rotate and actually rotate the model around. One thing that's not quite as apparent from this scale of the model, that is at this view size, what's not apparent is the way that the SolidWorks ambient lighting works. Now you may see the shadow down there at the bottom and that's basically showing that SolidWorks has this model in an ambient light environment. So what I wanted to show you though is this becomes more apparent when you start using the zoom tools. So let's say I want to see the broken shoe sign over here it looks like. So when I start zooming in here, I've used my zoom to area command as right here. Then I can hit my rotate command. And you see how when I start rotating around the lighting changes. And the way it's set up is to reflect a real life or real time ambient lighting situation. As if you were holding the part yourself. That's the way SolidWorks does it. So, yes, with the RTI technology, which is very good, by the way, you can change all the various lighting angles. And it's because they've taken photographs at different lighting magnitudes from different angles all around within the global structure that they have set up. So that is very good. But this here it acts as an ambient lighting source and as you rotate the model around you can see right there you see how the lighting changes and that is going to be what you're experiencing when you're holding a tablet in real life so it's as if you're a, a scribe who is reading his tablet and rotating it around the problem with RTI is that Obviously what you see here, it is not able to do. It is not able to capture the quite the enhanced quality that you see here with respect to zooming in and out. And you can see here, I can get very, very detailed with my zoom command. In fact, the software, as I was mentioning before, it captures about half a human hair, the, or the actual 3D scanning module. It captures the detail of about a half a human hair. And what you're seeing here is you're seeing the various contour shaping of what the actual stylus impressed into the clay when this tablet was made. Um, so the the round the roundness you see here is not because the software is incapable of capturing sharp details but rather you're you're zoomed to such an extent here that you're actually seeing almost like in a a minor minor scope a, mi a minor microscope um, where you're actually capturing the blown up view of the edge of the sign and the deformation of the clay in this area. So even though it doesn't look sharp, it, the reason why that is is because it's captured so much detail that you're getting the real life scenario of what 
the sign actually looks like when it's being impressed with the stylus. So I'm just going to play around here for a few minutes and just show you the different commands. Which is your zoom in and out, where you can actually control how far or how close you zoom in and out. This is your zoom to fit command, so when you click that, it brings you out to the fit excuse me, of the actual window. And then at any time, you can always go back and hit play here and start cycling through the views again. But the views that you're seeing with play, of course, you can use rotate just as well to do whatever you want. So let's say I want to take a look at the rule here on one of these lines. You can just zoom to the area. And so now I'm actually taking a look at the rule that the scribe made. And you can see all the detail here. You can see all the, you know, various peaks and valleys, if you will, of what is actually happening when the rule is made. Because when, you know, the scribe would press on the clay with the stylus, you know, the clay is soft, but it's going to give back a little bit too in certain areas. <clears throat> Some portions of the tablet are going to be harder than others, depending on the quality of the clay at the time. And you're going to see this reflection here. And so what I was trying to mention to you before as well was that with this technology, <clears throat> you can see all of the details that it captures in the actual sign. But that can be polarized, if you will, or reversed. You can reverse engineer from these signs, the, the data that's been collected from these signs. Um, and you could recreate the stylus by making basically a negative of the actual sign. So you basically have a full range of manipulation here. And as you can see, as I rotate, the ambient lighting source interacts with the model, just as if you were rotating an actual part yourself under ambient lighting situations. At any time, I can come back out, and I can go to a different portion of the tablet. You can see here, we've actually captured a portion of the sign that ran off to the side of the tablet and the scribe didn't have enough room. And this is something that's very difficult to see exactly with hand copies because they're 2D. But now I can see exactly the appropriate details I need to see with a couple clicks of a couple buttons. So, there are a couple tools you can play around with here too. You can add comments to it. So, let's say you wanted to show Peter Machinist, for example, um, something in this area. You could just add your comment right here. Hello, Professor Machinist. Have a great day. And now I've actually put a comment there 
and I can save this file and send it to Professor Machinist, for example. So if you look here, I change my view, and I can be anywhere in the model at any time. And let's say, oh, what was that that I had typed to Professor Machinist before? Oh, I can just go right here to my comment and click on it, and it takes me right back to the exact view. Hello, Professor Machinist. Have a great day. So that's just one thing that you can do with the eDrawings module. Um, there are many other things that you can do as well. Um, I can add my shadow or remove my shadow, make annotations. There's just various things that you can actually do with this software. But I think in your case, the, the power comes in and where this goes beyond the RTI technology is this zooming capability. I mean, yes, with RTI, I, I've seen the software in action. You can actually come in this close but you can't do this. I mean, that's just, <clears throat> that's something that I think they're working on. And one of the videos that I saw in the past was indicating that they're trying to set up these new machines where they can actually take photographs while the part is rotating and so forth, which is really good. And that's comparable in, in a way to what you're doing here. But Again, these are photographs and not laser scans. And so the difference between the two is the engineering quality that you're getting. And, you know, when you can get detail to half a human hair, I mean, that's pretty significant. At least I think. So this is just the viewer um, for this model. I mean, we haven't even... We haven't even gotten into the main body of the software, which is what this viewer is basically translating for the end user, such as yourself, what it can do, this software. Um, so I could take this model within the software that I use, and I can cut it into a thousand pieces, and take those pieces and move them around, and I could try to open up other tablet models that I've already scanned and take those pieces and put them into sections of you know broken tablet models where we're missing a whole piece of a tablet and we're reading the various tablets and we find that there's a couple lines on one tablet that seem to be consistent with the details of another tablet and we could take that piece and move it over and reconstruct um, the broken tablet with that and so all the while you haven't even touched with your original tablets because they've already been scanned once and now they're put away and and locked up secretly so they can't be damaged so this is just a little you know a little bit further detail um, than what you might get from just playing around with yourself I mean I've been using this for a number of years and I use it with my customers in the plumbing, heating, and cooling industry and in the waterworks industry where we do fire hydrants and so forth. And, uh, you know, people seem to, to really appreciate it. So thank you for entertaining this and um, look forward to hearing uh, some of your comments. Talk to you later now.